Let's have a look at how to navigate through a hierarchy of objects inside of a scene in XSI. It's actually pretty simple. Here what we have is a scene setup where we have a large sphere, this one up here on the top called the master, and it's the parent of all of these little children sphere, spheres. So if we move the large sphere around, we'll see that since all the small spheres are parented to it, they all move along with it. They'll also rotate with it, as well as scale with it. However, the small spheres have no influence on anything else since they are not in control of anything. Just the large spheres in control of all of these smaller ones. Okay, so how can we navigate through this? If we select the topmost uh, sphere in the hierarchy, which is the master sphere, which is the parent node, if we hold down the Alt key and press the down arrow on the keyboard, we can move to the first child of that hierarchy, which happens to be called Slave 1. If we hold down Alt and use the right arrow key, we can then cycle through the different uh, siblings or children of this branch, of this hierarchy. Using the left mouse, the left arrow key, we can go backwards to the previous sibling, and so on and so forth. If we open up an Explorer view using 8 on the keyboard, here's the master node. Let's expand it so we can see all of the children or all the sibling nodes, which are down here. You can see them from slave 1 all the way to slave 13. What we can do is select this master node here, which is the parent node, hold down Alt and use the down arrow key on the keyboard, and we can now select all of the different uh, siblings and the children in this hierarchy. Using Alt and the right arrow key, we can go ahead and cycle through all of these different nodes. We can use the left arrow key to go backwards to previous uh, siblings and children in this hierarchy, or use the right arrow key to go forward. We can also use these arrow icons over here in the MCP. The up arrow is going to move us up to the parent node. So you can see it selected the master node. If we use the left and right arrow keys here, our arrow buttons in the MCP, we can pretty much do the same thing that we were doing by holding down Alt and using the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard. So it's just two different ways of doing the same thing. You can use the MCP or you can use the shortcut keys which is holding on Alt and using the arrow keys on the keyboard. So that's how you can navigate through a hierarchy of objects in XSI.